I'm going to tell you about a recent travel experience that I had, although I don't know how recent, if it's that recent, because it happened uh, two years ago. I was um, hitchhiking in France with my girlfriend at the time, and we were hitchhiking from the south of France into the north of France. We were heading toward uh, Germany, uh, France borders Germany, north and south, and we got a ride from a guy. We went to a grocery store at first and uh, we purchased uh, a loaf of uh, whole grain wheat baguette and a bagel and a beer and some potato chips and some delicious chocolate for like a few euros. We sat outside the grocery store eating it and it started raining and uh, the girl who I was dating at the time she got upset because she was like we're not gonna get a ride, we're not gonna get a ride and we needed a hitchhike to our next uh, destination, which was in Piquioville, France. We were going to be staying, be woofing, um, at the Chateau, the Chateau Ile Marie. It's, a, it's kind of a chateau, it's like a smaller version of a castle. It's a huge French house, uh, it's a French term. And we were going to be staying in a manor house, in a house that's beside the chateau, and just like doing work, weeding, and maybe like making beds and helping serve dinner, which is what we turned out to be doing. In any case, we finish eating the avocado and bread, and she finishes drinking the beer, and I eat some of the chocolate and potato chips. The rain holds up for a bit, and we continue hitchhiking. And she gets upset, and she's like, a ride's never going to come. And I'm like, look, we just got to be positive. Tom Cruise is going to pick us up any minute. We just have to visualize what we want to come for a ride, and that ride will come. And I said, I'm going to visualize the little car. And she was like, this is stupid. She was being negative. She was upset. She thought we wouldn't get a ride and it was uh, going to be dark soon. Although we were only, I think, half an hour, an hour away from our destination. So I said, a small car is going to come with a really cool person. And sure enough, a red car pulls to the side of the road. It's this Frenchman. He's about 5'8", this petite little fellow, kind of portly, not fat, but just kind of like a bigger guy in this little red car and we get in and it's so small our backpacks we have these hiking backpacks can barely fit in and we get in the car and this guy drives us to a a French town and uh, I tried to tell him where we needed to go and we both spoke uh, a little bit of French and I think our French was just so poor uh, it didn't really translate so he takes us to the small town and he parks in a parking lot and he points and there's a church and beside the church there's a um, there's a sculpture of a, it's an actual parachute that's attached to the edge of the church with a, a soldier hanging from the parachute. But the parachute appeared to be real, but the soldier hanging from it was obviously like a sculpture or like a mannequin. And it looked so bizarre there. We're sitting in this small little town uh, in France. We don't really know where we are, but it's apparently on the way to our destination. And we're looking, we look up and we see this beautiful little church and it's about three stories high, but you know, it's like one big uh, room where the church is, but it's about 30 feet high, really you know, high ceilings. And we see this parachute at the edge of the church, hanging on this, like, the side of the church, where it like, spikes up. And down at the bottom is a guy, just like this. Like... Just a soldier. It was really, really interesting. So I get outside and I take some pictures, and she was kind of like, I think fed up, frustrated at this point. She was in the car. We get back inside and explain to the guy, this is where we need to go, Chateau Il Marie. Keeps driving and he, 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 he drives down this uh, narrow road, goes into a driveway, and there's beautiful trees on both sides. It's about 150 yards down the driveway. The trees open up and there's a Chateau Il Marie. I don't even think the guy spoke a lick of uh, uh, English. And our French was pretty poor, but he took us right there. It was just beautiful. And we arrived there a day in advance, and just we met the owner. It was amazing, and we stayed in a manor house, and we stayed there for 33 days, and it was ultimate. And he wrote an e-book about how to travel Europe for $1.50 a day. It's www.howtotraveleuropecheap.com. And that's my travel story. I hope you enjoyed it. All right, my name is Chris Kemp. Bye.